Hello and welcome back to another guide of Jagged Alliance 3. My name is Saiken and today we're going to do one of four build guides that I'm going to release. Each of the guides will include a short and concise description of a build that I have used that has worked exceptionally well. I want to share all of them with you and showcase some of uh, the game footage to help you improve your own gameplay and maybe copy some of them. Today's build will be Igor Dolwich, our friend from Russia, uh, that is uh, going to use a melee-only build. I call it uh, the Brutal Berserker, as Igor has killed almost 400 people with that. We'll come to the stats in a second. Let's just look at the equipment real quick. Uh, as a melee weapon, Igor is wielding the thing. I do have sharpened machetes as well, but the thing itself gets extreme damage bonus from strength. And I've tested it and it sort of uh, evens out, uh, but crits typically tend to be slightly higher with the thing, at least uh, for me. Uh, secondly, Igor uses a modified Auto 5 shotgun with a shorter barrel for a 3 AP cost and we'll come to that in a second why that is important and what uh, that helps him. He could also as you can see use a couple of grenades as an alternative so the shotgun is really more movement instrument for him to get into melee. He uses a specific helmet that you find on the diesel quest line uh, called the Shimon Crony helmet uh, that does not uh, reduce any movement. It's heavy armor um, and will allow you to fully count as uh, light armor in terms of uh, movement. Um, he uses, in this case, Kevlar armor, but I've played him uh, over the vast majority of uh, the game in light armor and you will see in a second why. So let's move into the actual game uh, um, and the perks. Let's look at the statistics. Uh, Igor has almost killed 400 people there with a build that is a true brutal berserker. So let's take a look at how melee builds particularly work. Melee is a very strong skill in Jagged Alliance 3. It uh, uses dexterity in order to determine whether you hit and it uses strength for the determination of uh, the actual damage that you are dealing. So both of these stats should be respectively high. It costs very, very low AP. Knives 3 AP and machetes 4 AP and you can even um, use one zoom level, uh, so one additional AP to hit better, but typically you're good enough in hitting. Melee bypasses armor, so that in itself is fantastic as knives are not uh, care, uh, caring about uh, the ballistic armor that enemies are having. So a lot going for that build, uh, but what are the downsides of melee? Typically you need to get to the enemy and then you are very exposed after attacking. So the build does a couple of things in order to deal with that. The first skill that you should go in is hit, uh, go in for is hit and run. You gain a free movement um, after a melee attack. That free movement works with everything but heavy armor. So make sure that you are not uh, cladding yourself in heavy armor. That in itself should be the first uh, skill that you are taking for melee builds. Afterwards, you can either branch out into full body contact or start the strength, uh, the strength um, uh, skills and the strength perks. Full body uh, contact allows you 15 grit per melee attack, which will be your main source of gaining grit. Grit stacks uh, up to 30 grit, so after two hits you are fully kitted out. You won't get any more grit than that, but 30 temporary hit points are great. So these two could be a very solid core for the very uh, first skills. At latest, then, I would suggest um, turning your eyes to strength, as that will now be your main go to area. And the first uh, thing that I would suggest you to do in strengths is going for killing spree. Melee attacks on different targets uh, deal 50% up to 50% extra damage based on strengths. With 100 strength uh, that means you just increase the damage the moment that you are switching your target. So after the first kill you just continue to make it worse. Uh, so you get a free action to move, you get uh, successful temporary hit points and uh, you can move with that free action from enemy to enemy and then even deal more damage. Sounds broken, uh, wait for it, it gets worse than that. Next up, you skill Sudden Strike. 
which allows you to ignore interrupt attacks. This is particularly important uh, starting in the mid game as many of the enemies then will run this talent here revenge. So when you're dealing a lot of damage revenge triggers and they will just pump a bit more damage into you. Mind you, um, that is particularly helpful if you can't one shot an enemy and don't want to um, get the shotgun into the face as a retaliation. So you want to uh, take uh, uh, take this one. Afterwards, you are then in the next uh, iteration going for breach and clear as an additional talent that offers free movement. And really what that does is it allows you free movement with anything that is thrown. It's not only grenades, it's also glow sticks and with shotgun attacks. So what you want to do is you want to find yourself a weapon uh, that has only three AP in activation. In this case, it's my modified uh, auto five gun. Whenever you find yourself in an open field or far, far away from the enemy, what you're going to do is you're just going to move closer to the target, then shoot once with the uh, shotgun, use the free uh, movement to then move even closer to the target until you are there, switching back to your melee weapon and going to town on the enemy. This here is an important talent uh, just to make sure that you are getting closer. Uh, it works better with grenades uh, because uh, with glow sticks because you don't need to switch your weapon. You can essentially have them in the second uh, inventory in the second weapon slot uh, without switching them. So that conserves overall more AP and allows you to attack more often at the expense of, of course, more resources that are uh, that are going to go away during that. Also, grenade uh, throwing range increases substantially with strengths. So you're actually a pretty solid uh, grenade throwing character with that. Make sure that your explosive doesn't suck um, if you want to use grenades regularly. Elsewise, you might throw them under your own feet. So that's a fair warning. Uh, so glow sticks at the beginning of the game will be your best friend. Moving on uh, to the actual core of the build. So once you do have that, maybe that uh, for survivability, and then uh, you go killing spree into sudden strike into breach and clear. Then we're moving to the uh, core of the build, true strike. Absolute fantastic ability. Every single melee attack crits automatically and marks the target. Mark targets will apply another critical attack in, in the next uh, attack action. So what that does is you can essentially um, quick attack a target and even if it doesn't die and is near death, someone else can take a shot and um, maybe even profit off of it. So if you do have, uh, for instance, someone that has lucky streak, uh, they can just take a quick shot, uh, mm, uh, score the crit and maybe even get inspired afterwards. These are just additions, but the, the build itself uh, works absolutely fine. So your next attack will then automatically also uh, crit, which um, will make it worse no matter which weapon you're using. True Strike, phenomenal ability. Pair that in the next level with Line Breaker. Uh, after you are killing someone in point blank range, that is four fields or lower, you are gaining four AP. So really what that does is, um, since machetes cost four AP, you will get one free machete attack per uh, turn, just because you will be killing a lot of enemies. So that will just essentially give you four AP for free. Super strong ability. From there on, you have a couple of options. Um, I tried Fast Runner quite a bit with Light Armor just to give Igor more movement speed in between the enemies. That's fine. If you go down that route, you might as well want to uh, put in Frog Leaping so that you're really a fast uh, build. Uh, you are going to be more fragile. So if you go uh, to with uh, these two, you're basically starting in cover, maybe even hunkered down, and then you're uh, charging out, hitting the enemy, gain uh, free uh, movement, uh, moving in between enemies, uh, killing them, going back into cover. That build definitely works very well. However, I should say that is a bit more fragile. So the other option is going for beefed up and uh, lightning reactions. The reason why I would uh, uh, suggest taking those two on a more hardcore-ish run uh, would be beefed up increases your base hit points by 20% and lightning reflexes essentially is a get out of jail card for the first time in a combat and you typically uh, won't be hit that much more often. It, 
if you play it uh, if you play it right so those two would be the defensive option for the build i went for compromise more hit points and then i potentially if i was to build it again would go for lightning reflexes instead of fast runner um, because i quite frankly speaking had enough movement speed you can always increase it a bit further but with the breach and clear and uh, the auto shotgun it really worked out very well and that's it let's jump into some gameplay footage all right let's look at some game footage uh, so we're finding ourselves here in a little bit of a defense mission and uh, you can immediately see that half of the enemies are uh, taking cover on one side of the map. This is a perfect time to use the Berserker to rot them out. Igor uses his free movement at the beginning to get to the first enemy, gets inspired, strikes them and kills them, then uses free movement. As you can see, zero AP used, begins to hit the second one, slashes them nicely for 122 points of damage, more free movement uh, to the third one, and continues to just get them down and i even have enough free movement to get all the way into that house and to the hunkered down character uh, for another 150 points of damage and look there you have it the um, berserker confirmed igor dolvich just gets them all down the build is very very good i would say it does not stack very well so uh, having two of these characters in a group might not yield the same results but doesn't even require any ammunition and igor just did a fantastic job in killing most of the enemies you can see he for the majority of his time was a melee killer 331 enemies killed with it i hope you enjoy uh, the brutal berserker build that i've shown you and see you in one of my other guides. Take care. Bye-bye.